Hey everyone, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. Welcome to another fabulous Friday. Today we're going to take a final look at my product of the week, which is the Many Blessings stamp set. It's a new one in the holiday catalog, and if you can only get one stamp set out of the catalog, I think this should be it, only because it will encompass everything from September to October and November and December also. And these will also go into the spring and further months than that. But this is a really fun stamp set. Today we're going to create this cute little gift card holder. I'll show you. And it's actually made out of an envelope. If I can get this undone. There we go. You open it up, and there's your gift card. Isn't that adorable? And it's super easy to make. So what you're going to need for this is a Whisper White envelope, and this is our medium size envelope. It fits an A2 size card. I have a piece of the Joyous Noel Designer Series paper. It's cut at four and a half by seven a scrap piece of copper foil and also a scrap piece of the Whisper White and I am using this beautiful re reversible ribbon. It's m copper on one side and Mary Merlot on the other. Isn't that really pretty? So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your envelope and you're going to fold it in half. Then you're going to take your snips and you're going to cut this little section right here and then cut off one of the flaps. Just throw that away. And you're going to seal this envelope. Okay? Then you're going to take your adhesive and you're going to run it on all four sides of half of the envelope take your designer series paper and you want the envelope opening to the edge of the designer series paper. You're just going to set that in there like this. And then you're going to add adhesive on this side of the envelope. Then you're going to fold this up over the adhesive and fold this down to make your flap. You'll take your ribbon. It's much easier when it's on the roll. Trim off what you need. I think I got a little long there, didn't I? And then just tie a knot to one side. Now with this ribbon, because it is copper on one side and Mary Merlot on the other, I'm going to try and get all get the copper side to show on both tabs of the knot. So you're going to tuck this in like this. And before you pull it tight, you want to twist it over, twist this side over, and then pull your knot tight. And that way you have the same side of the ribbon showing on both sides. Trim the ribbon. Okay, we'll set that aside. I didn't show you when I, I glued that down. This is where your gift card's gonna go. Just a side note. <laughs> now we're going to stamp and we're going to First, we're going to stamp the sentiment in Mary Merlot. And because this is a photopolymer stamp set, I'm going to use our pierce mat. And let's just do it on this side. Stamp the sentiment. And then we're going to stamp the cute little ornament. We're going to heat emboss that with some of the copper um, embossing powder. So we're just going to set that right underneath the sentiment and then we'll sprinkle on some copper embossing powder. Ok, 
Okay, and now I will heat emboss it. I will be right back. Okay. Once that's been embossed, I don't need this any longer, we're going to punch it out with the two inch circle punch. Just like so. This is what I like about our flat punches. You can see exactly where you're punching. Now we're gonna take the starburst punch and we're going to punch out a piece of the copper. And then we'll adhere that down together. Center that over the starburst. And we're gonna add a couple of dimensionals just at the top. Make sure that's the top, it is. And there you go. And get this guy back together. <laughs> Aren't those adorable? If you're going to give a gift card to somebody, you want to give it in a cute package, and I think this qualifies. For all the information on this project, go to scrapsbysissy.com for today's blog post. I hope you have a fabulous Friday, and thanks for stopping by. Bye.